Hello, I'm Dr. Frances Pitsilis. Should adults take any supplements? Yes, I think so. This is because around the world, it is estimated that 3.3 billion people are nutritionally deficient. Is it because the soil is no good? Is it because they're poor? Is it because the diet's no good? And even in plentiful societies, the diet can be so full of starch and processed foods that not enough nutrients are getting in. So a multivitamin's a good idea. Researchers have found that the B vitamins contained in the multivitamins are very important for energy production. People have reported improved energy. There are some special minerals, including molybdenum, and molybdenum is important for uh, antioxidant, and of course, selenium. Now, you won't get everything in your multivitamin, but the studies have shown that people have lived longer, there have been fewer heart attacks, strokes, uh, people have had more energy, they've slept better, and it's possibly uh, improved their memories. So there's a good argument for a multivitamin for most people. Well, on top of that, what about if you're on a drug for your health or you've got a disease that's depleting your nutrients anyway? An example is some of the popular blood pressure medications will deplete zinc. Uh, uh, one of the uh, popular pills, many of them actually, will deplete zinc, magnesium and B vitamins. So women on the contraceptive pill probably should take a multivitamin. In addition to a multivitamin, I think everybody should take vitamin C. And that's because humans, gorillas, fruit bats and guinea pigs don't make their own vitamin C. And yet, we're all stressed these days and we're consuming a lot of vitamin C. Um, uh, James Cook on the Endeavour in his voyages knew at the time that his sailors needed to eat fresh food. Um, and he didn't know at the time that it was a vitamin C deficiency that was causing scurvy. And yet scurvy exists today and people are not diagnosing it because people are getting uh, bleeding gums, their wounds don't heal, tissues break down. And so he instituted sauerkraut and that's what prevented uh, his uh, team from getting scurvy and sauerkraut contains a lot of vitamin C. In addition to wounds and gums, vitamin C is an important antioxidant. It works all through the body. It helps prevent infection. It helps release energy from fish oil. It helps energy production anyway. It helps your neurotransmitters. It helps protect the lungs, the adrenal glands, and I can go on and on and on. Any form of stress of which we have a lot these days drains vitamin C very easily and very quickly. The third uh, must-have, in my view, is fish oil. And it may well be that krill oil may end up becoming superior because krill oil has astaxanthin, a very good um, antioxidant in it, and phospholipids in it, which is the same as in our cell membranes. Essentially, fish oil works by helping cell membranes work better and become more fluid, and also reduces inflammation. Fish oil prevents bowel cancer, breast cancer, protects the heart and the brain, reduces allergy, asthma, hay fever, eczema. It helps autoimmune diseases, migraine, and a multitude of other conditions. So fish oil really is that third must have. On top of that, you really want to know whether you're deficient in anything else because you won't get too much of those in a multivitamin, and I'm talking about magnesium, zinc, B vitamins, iron, and vitamin D. Now, with your family doctor, you can test your iron, your B12, and your vitamin D. 
you can consider whether you might need magnesium, and I think most people do, if you've got twitchy eye, leg cramp and ringing in the ears. Magnesium helps you sleep better and works on 300 reactions in the body. Zinc is number two behind magnesium and works on 200 reactions in the body. It's, and it's got more of an immune profile uh, where it helps prevent colds, flus, helps your hormones to work. And both magnesium and zinc help with cholesterol and diabetes. You can test for zinc by having a blood test or the zinc taste test in the shop. Uh, is a reasonable guide because if you don't have enough zinc in your body, you won't taste it. So in summary, the big three are a multivitamin, fish oil and vitamin C. You can test for iron, B12, vitamin D, folic acid, and you know from your symptoms with magnesium and with zinc, you do the zinc taste test. <music>